Hey yo, this is Young from Career School. So today I'll be talking about leadership principle once again. Uh, and today's leadership principle is have backbone, disagree and commit. So let's first go over uh, the actual leadership principle that we have here. Leaders are obligated to respectfully challenge decisions when they disagree even when doing so is uncomfortable or exhausting. Leaders have conviction and are tenacious. They do not compromise for the sake of social cohesion. Once a decision is determined, they commit wholly. Half backbone disagree and commit is one of the leadership principles that I have uh, personally been working on for the past one year plus continue to work on uh, in year 2021 as well. So I don't know about you, for me, or at least for people who are coming from the Asian culture, it's really, really hard to um, sometimes disagree with your managers or with your peers or your clients, um, because usually, you know, we have this relationship with these people that kind of makes it hard to disagree on um, with them. But I think it's less about disagreeing. I uh, think of it more as asking clarifying questions around something. So if someone is doing something uh, and telling that this will be the way to do so, ask them why. Uh, why is that the case? You know, so like, just think of it as asking clarifying questions. So what does this actually mean? What does this mean? So I think half backbone disagreeing commit actually have two different parts. One is the half backbone part, of course, is so simply put, I think you can think of it as playing a devil's advocate, you know, asking questions, be, not being hard, but making sure that everything is going through the right way by asking the right questions. So for example, in a meeting, when everyone's agreeing onto something, uh, you like having backbone could be, you know, raising your hand and asking clarifying questions around if this is the right way to do so, right? That will be the first part, half backbone piece. And then the other part is obviously gonna be the disagree and commit, is once a decision is made, you are commit to it and you just move along with it and you don't look back. That's what this means. So having a backbone and then disagreeing commit is two different things, but we kind of have it together as a leadership principle. I posted this on LinkedIn once about speaking up in a classroom setting or in a meeting or, you know, even talking with your peers in, uh, in a company or something like that. But um, generally just speaking up for me, uh, sometimes was a challenge because culturally back in Korea, we don't really speak up that often. We, I would say follow the orders pretty much. I guess that's why it's called the army culture, uh, what we have in corporate Korea. It used to be a big challenge. It still is a big challenge, but I, I challenge myself to ask more questions and kind of speak up and push back once more whenever I feel like this, that things are not going well or whenever I have doubt on something, right? So I think it kind of affects my day to day life of not talking at all or talking less than other people uh, to uh, speaking up more frequently. And I think I mentioned this before, but one of the great ways for me to, you know, speak up more often was kind of forcing myself to to speak up or ask one single question at a time in a meeting or uh, in a in a group setting. Right, that kind of made me more comfortable of asking questions. And obviously, the feedbacks I got from my colleagues and my manager was more like. Hey, you're, you have really, really high standards. You would really bring good value if you speak up more often. Like those were encouraging messages that I got. Um, and that really encouraged me to speak up more often in, um, in a group setting. Let's check out the sample questions I have here. Um, one, it could be, tell me about a time when you strongly disagree with your manager 
or peer on something you consider very important to the business. Describe a time when you took an unpopular stance in a meeting with peers and your leader. Often, we must make decisions as a group. Give me an example of a time you committed to a group decision even though you disagreed. So as you can see, all the questions are around disagreeing or committing after disagreeing. Um, and I would give you my sample answer to this when I was actually interviewing for uh, Amazon about a year and a half ago. I already had a pretty good answer ready before going into the interview, uh, but the answer that I was giving was more around disagreeing with my manager and kind of proving that, you know, the way that we should go uh, is another route based on the data that I have collected. I'll just share my story real quick. When I was back in Huawei, we launched the first Huawei brand smartphone to the Korean market. And right after launching that, uh, which was a mid-tier, more of a budget-friendly phone, my manager and the headquarters wanted to launch a more of a premium brand smartphone to the Korean market, which would probably be in like $700 to $900 range phone uh, that would compete with the iPhones and Galaxy S and, you know, those top brand named phones out there. Uh, and even though my manager and the headquarters wanted to launch a premium smartphone in the Korean market, I really thought that it was not the right time for us to do it because one, we just launched a phone that was very, very budget friendly. So the brand perception that customers have would not be associated with the premium brand phone. And second, the Korean smartphone market is very, very complicated. You have to work with the telecommunication companies, just like AT&T and Verizon, so that they would purchase it to distribute it to the uh, customers. So the uh, perception that the telcos had with Huawei was nothing similar to premium brand. So like I basically used some data around the internet, uh, kind of scrapping out all the, you know, the uh, comments that people leave around um, our phones. And also at the same time, we, we had a brand research uh, that we have done with a third party that kind of showed where the Huawei brand was you know, at in the Korean market. We were nowhere near a premium brand. We were more seen as a budget-friendly brand that customers will, you know, will purchase if they are not able to go with the upper brand. But we were known for our quality. So I, so the, the way I kind of approached it to my manager was that um, giving him data and letting him know that it's not the right time for us to launch the phone yet. And that was really hard and challenging for me because, you know, um, he was basically getting orders from the headquarters, which, you know, he had to follow. Uh, but at the end of the day, he kind of agreed on with me. But the next step was to kind of persuade our headquarters back in China. So what I did was to kind of get some help from our telco partner. Um, back then LG Plus to talk together uh, to the headquarters saying that it's not the right time for a premium brand phone yet. Uh, we should be launching another, you know, budget friendly phone in the Korean market. And then maybe later we can launch a premium brand phone. Uh, so at the end of the day, uh, we kind of joined force together to persuade the headquarters that it is not the right time to launch a premium phone. Uh, and went with another budget friendly phone, which was a massive success in the Korean market. I think two years later or so, we actually did launch this premium brand smartphone in the Korean market. So, you know, success and also another success of launching a phone, uh, that the headquarters wanted. So it was a win-win for everyone. That was it for today. I kind of wanted to go, go on quickly on these, uh, leadership principle videos because I know a lot of people are interviewing for Amazon and these leadership principles are just critical, 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 important to cracking our next Amazon interview. So hope you liked the video. Uh, please leave comment, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos like this. Thank you.